This is a stimulus check update and daily news report. Got some big breaking news to share with you when it comes to stimulus. Stimulus check update. President Biden feels strongly about providing this stimulus money in 2022. And supplemental security income updates. Automatic new $821 social security SSI check payments being sent in just days. I'll play you a video clip of Jen Psaki, White House press secretary, getting grilled on Fox News. Nancy Pelosi wants to slim down and rename the Build Back Better bill. I'll play you a video clip of exactly what she said. Says, it'll give you some other important updates as well. Hope you're having a fantastic Friday. If you appreciate the fact-based, fast-paced updates, hit the like button down below, and I'm giving out $200 checks to my subscribers. I'll talk more about that later on. But first, Biden says he thinks Congress can pass parts of broken up Build Back Better plan. That seems to be the new plan moving forward for Democrats. They're going to break it up. President Joe Biden said he believes Congress can pass pieces of Build Back Better Act. He pointed to climate policy and early childhood childhood education as parts of the bill that could win support. $1.75 trillion bill stalled in December after Senator Joe Manchin said he would not vote for it. And they tried to have a vote for it many, many times over the past six months. It just did not go through. Even Nancy Pelosi is saying that Build Back Better may need to be more limited and renamed. So yeah, I think the Build Back Better, although it's a catchy name, it just has a negative stigma. Whoops, not a negative stigma, but I think it's just looked at as a failure. So they're probably going to rename it, rebrand it, give it uh, something, some new pep in it, and then try to pass something else. And Nancy Pelosi says we need to downsize Build Back Better. So it went from $3.5 trillion to $1.75 trillion. Who knows how many trillion or even billions is going to be next. Here is Nancy Pelosi talking more about that. Well, let me just say um, chunks is an interesting word. <laughs> Not my word, that's what you said. No, no. Uh, the president has such a commitment to the values that are contained in, the, in this legislation, the legislation, the reconciliation bill. Uh, when they, we passed the, the um, and when they were considering, and then later we passed the bipartisan infrastructure bill, the president said, uh, I want to find as much common ground as I can in a bipartisan way when it comes to infrastructure. But I cannot limit my vision for America to what the Republicans will agree to in terms of roads and bridges, etc. That's important, but it's not all. So in this legislation, if we care about preserving the planet for future generations and clean air for them to breathe today and water to drink, we need to pass the reconciliation bill. So I would hope that that would be a major part of it. So well, what the president calls chunks, I would hope would be a major bill going forward. It may be more limited, but it is um, still significant. So we talked about climate. Now let's talk about health care. So important in the legislation is that millions more people will have access to health care at a very low cost because of what is in the bill in terms of expanding the Affordable Care Act. Let's now talk about child care. Child care in the bill, whether you're talking about the child tax credit, or you're talking about child care, or you're talking about home health care that might include a child, or an older sibling or a parent, or you're talking about universal pre-K. All of this lowers cost lowers cost for care and is transformative in the lives, especially of women in the workforce. So we have to have, if our economy is going to succeed, as you know, we say when women succeed, America succeeds. If we're going to have the full benefit of women and newcomers, and when I say newcomers, people of color who have not been in some of these traditional jobs to expand what that means, we have to have care at home whether it's for children or, again, uh, older siblings or parents. So this, there are big chunks of, of the bill that have to be contained in the bill. But remember this, that this is a reconciliation bill. So when people say, let's divide it up, then no, they don't understand the process. What can we agree upon? And I'm sure that we can agree upon something significant. Call it a chunk if you want. Uh, but whatever you call it, uh, we want it to be able to make a difference in transforming the workplace 
uh, by honoring work, by respecting the fact that there are families that have to make decisions between home and work, and again, protecting the planet. So I'm, I'm optimistic. I'm optimistic. Yeah. What are your thoughts on what Nancy Pelosi said? Is a new brand, a new name, a new slimmed down version of the Build Back Better, is that going to be good enough? Uh, do you think it should have more stimulus provisions in it for other people like adults, people on fixed income, disability? Let me know your thoughts on all that down in the comments below. White House launches hotline for COVID tests as Omicron drives demand. So the administration said it will prioritize orders from communities that have been hit hardest by the pandemic. Pandemic. So new hotline launched today. So the hotline is scheduled to go live at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and how, uh, which is today, Friday the 21st. Uh, and households can call 800-232-0233 to request up to four free tests. So they have the website covidtest.gov that launched on Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday, and now the hotline, which is the number I just gave you, uh, if you want to call up and request four tests. They're also giving out free masks as well as a few other things here. Uh, here is White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki talking about the White House plan with this, as well as a few other issues. We're, we're about six weeks behind Europe when it comes to these variants that are coming through. That was true with Delta, it's true with Omicron. Yesterday, Europe made some very interesting decisions. Boris Johnson in the UK rolling back mask mandates and vaccine passports. Israel saying we're not going to make everyone get a booster every three months. You had Spain doing something similar on vaccine passports, even the Czech Republic. So the president seems to be going in a different direction, right? We're sending out, you're sending out masks now, you're going to do the test. It, but can you envision, will the president provide America an off-ramp to COVID, and especially for those, the unvaccinated, because the more we find out, like from the CDC, saying that it does, you, you are more protected if you already had the virus, even if you are unvaccinated, that just came out. So I'm looking for a question or an answer on an off-ramp for Americans, because a lot of unvaccinated feel like they're being the scapegoats and, and second-class citizens, even though I want people to be vaccinated so that they're protected. Sure. Well, well first, let me say, 75% of the country is fully vaccinated. All of those people did not vote for Joe Biden, and certainly they're not all uh, Democrats. We know that mathematically. What the president's trying to do is protect the country, protect people from death. We also know in, in from the CDC and from our scientists that you are 17 times more likely to be hospitalized and 20 times more likely to die if you are not vaccinated. So we are trying to provide people accurate information. At the same time, Dan, I think you make a really important point. We don't want to live like this. You heard the president say, we don't want to live like this forever. We want to get back to a point where we're not wearing masks, of course, where we're not worried about our kids being in school places, where we can go and cheer for the Bengals. That one's for you, Bill, out in football stadiums. That's where we want to get to. And what we're trying to do is continue to fight at the height of a pandemic to get to that point. Are That's we about our objective. Six we so are we about six weeks away from something like a Boris Johnson announcement saying that masks will no longer be required? Maybe less. Well, I, I can't make a prediction of that because we listen to the scientists. Obviously, we've seen uh, it spike in some parts of the world. We're seeing it spike. We've seen spikes and come down a little bit in some parts of the United States, but we'll be watching it very closely. Okay, all right, on to crime. Dana, go ahead. Well, th that was just another issue that didn't come up last night, but it is starting to show up in the top five issues that voters say that they're concerned about. And you can also look at the polls that say that they, they're, a majority of people feel that the president is not focused on the issues that they care about. So on crime. Will the president find a way back to where he was when he supported the crime bill? I mean, people are concerned about uh, the murder rate, but also assaults, burglary. Everything seems like it's on edge. And you can't think about anything else like free community college or universal pre-K if you're worried about your security. Well, absolutely, the president would agree with you on that front. And we have also encouraged local leaders, local officials to take on the crime in their communities. That's absolutely essential. What the president has proposed, and we'll, we'll get to, there'll be a lot of discussion of this, I expect, over the next couple of months, is a significant plus up of funding for local community policing programs, significantly increased from, from the last president, but Jen, even, will because he the president's a believer the, in that. Will he push on the progressive prosecutors? that are, for example, here in New York City, saying that things like using, taking a gun into a store, robbing it, but then leaving and nobody gets killed, that that's a misdemeanor? Is the president okay with that? 
Well, look, the president's not going to wade into uh, the actions of prosecutors or of the, of the legal justice department. That's his his bottom line. But he's also been very clear. He's been a longtime supporter of cops programs, of the police, of local first responders, of local law enforcement, and he has been an advocate for additional funding. Okay. As you know, it was a big issue of, of defunding the police. That was yeah. absolutely never anything he proposed or supported, including in, even in the face of uh, of real criticism from within his okay, own party. Okay, two more topics here on Russia. What what would the White House consider to be a, quote, minor incursion? Well, let me be very clear on what the president has conveyed directly to President Putin. If there is any movement of military troops across the border into Ukraine, if that is, uh, if they go into Ukraine and invade, that is an invade, that is an invasion. There will be severe economic consequences. It is also true. And Bill, I was at the State Department, and Dana was at the State Department back in 2014. We saw some of this back then. There's a range of tactics the Russians use, whether it's the little green men, as they're called, or it's cyber attacks, and we will be prepared to respond uh, to that as well. So we're prepared for a range of tactics they may use, but if if they move their military into Ukraine, we will be responding, and we have Jen, a range of preparations As you for know that. from overnight, Kiev was, uh, I, I think the word was shocked by some of their uh, leading diplomats when they heard that comment. Uh, has there been a direct communication with Kiev today uh, since that comment last night about a minor incursion? Our national security team has been in touch. Tony Blinken is in Europe right now. Also, I would note the foreign minister conveyed just this morning that he is confident in the support uh, of the United States, and he should be, because uh, we are supportive uh, and we have their backs. Back. A lot of crazy stuff going on. What are your thoughts on that? When it comes to stimulus news, so stimulus check update, President Biden feels strongly about providing this stimulus money in 2022. So these are the things that President Biden wants most out of the Build Back Better bill. So President Joe Biden spoke at a press conference on Wednesday, which was a marathon over two hours. That's the longest we've seen from him in a while. The president commented on his efforts to pass his proposed Build Back Better plan. He indicated that he feels strongly about providing a specific type of stimulus relief. That specific type is the child tax credit, among a few other things, but it looks like the child tax credit is one of those things that he wants most or cares about most, or that at least that's what the media is saying um, in terms of moving forward. So a child tax credit, it may make it into the new slimmed down, rebranded, build back better skeleton or shell or whatever it is i uh, will see what happens with that as we move forward i'll definitely keep you updated with supplemental security income updates automatic new 821 dollars social security ssi check payments being sent in just days so what is this talking about so ssi supplemental so, uh, security income recipients have an 821 dollar boost on the way to them so this is basically talking about the cola and saying that according to social security administration SSA, the monthly maximum for SSI is now $841 per month for an individual in 2022 compared to $794 in 2021. So if you are eligible for SSI, uh, that's how you can get the $841 max. Let me know down in the comments below, anybody on SSI, are you getting the $841 max or how much are you getting off of that? Uh, let me know your thoughts on that. And that is all the news that I have for you today to hopefully brighten your day a bit. Here's my daughter Bella's tip of the day. The one thing for the tip of the day, be glad what you have because I might not be there because that if you really wanted something and now you don't like it, you have to take a chance what you had before because I might not be there. So that's the, that's the last tip of the day that I wanted to give you. Bye, it's Bella. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate your support. Want to give a shout out to my wife, Christine, for making me breakfast. Uh, she was off today. So yeah, breakfast of the champions right here. Really excited about that. If you want to get the $200 checks, there's still time to sign up. I have details down in the description below. And uh, yeah, hopefully you have an amazing weekend. Hopefully do something fun, something to hang out with friends or family or something to make you smile during these hard times. Uh, and if you want to check out any of my latest videos, like my wise buys video, you could click up here and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, be safe. Thank you for watching.